Hey guys, so today I am reviewing a curling iron. It is one of those um, kind of 8-in-1 curling irons with detachable wands and everything. I am so excited because, I mean, it's like having 8 curling irons. I am going to be reviewing the Irresistible Me Sapphire curling wand and if you remember I also I have the Irresistible Me uh, straightening iron and I was really pleased with that so I'm really curious to see what I'm gonna think about their curling iron so it comes in a box like this and then when you open it up oh it's pretty heavy there's a little pouch inside well it's rather big actually this contains the curling iron and all the attachment heads so this is what it looks like I have my European power plug here and yeah, all the barrels are in there. Like the straightening iron, this curling iron has the tourmaline technology that releases negative ions, is uh, better for your hair, seals the cuticles. So this is what the base looks like. It is blue, it has a little display and three buttons. Um, the top has a lock and unlock, you just twist it like that um, to attach your, your separate wands. So this curling iron has a, a smart technology that detects the voltage in your power outlet and adapts to that so it won't blow up if you use it in Europe or America. Set it from Fahrenheit to Celsius and vice versa. Yeah, it heats up really fast and it heats up to 230 degrees Celsius that is and that's 450 Fahrenheit. <laughs> Had to look that up. Um, the cord goes around which is awesome for a curling iron. I believe that's about all I have to say about the base. So I have, uh, it comes with eight different attachments that you can pop into the top. So there's this tiny little one which is 13 millimeter barrel which makes beautiful tight kind of like angel curls. A bigger barrel which is 19 millimeters. An even bigger one which is 25 millimeters and then a big giant 32 millimeter barrel. Then there's a few kind of odd shaped barrels. So there is a, a kind of cone shaped one. This is the thinner one. And that also comes in a slightly thicker version. This creates beautiful kind of princess curls. Um, this will give you the effect that you usually get when you do heatless curls or what I get when I do my sock bun curls. This kind of um, bubble attachment. Now it is also supposed to come with one that is kind of like this one but reversed so it starts thin and it goes out thicker. But I think there was a mistake in mine because I got two of these instead. So um, yeah, be sure to check that if you do order. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is actually divide my hair into eight sections and just try all of them out and see what the effect is that they get. So I'm going to start with the thinnest one. Just pop that in, let's see. Like that, lock it, let it heat up. And in the meantime, spray my hair with some heat protector. Heat protector is really weird, it smells like man's perfume. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Oh, wait. <gasps> I almost forgot to wear my heat resistant glove. It comes with a heat resistant glove so you can, you know, curl your hair safely. Okay. So obviously the smallest barrel gives really tight kind of what I call prong curls. <laughs> it's not really my thing, don't think I'll be using this one a lot, but it can give a really nice effect I think. Okay, so this is what the second one looks like. This is probably my favorite, I really like this size of curls, so I think I'm going to be using this one quite a lot. Let's see how this looks when I comb through it. Yeah, really nice kind of natural looking curls. So here's the third one. We're really getting more into wave territory now. Um, yeah, I do think this is really beautiful as well. Okay, so this is the biggest barrel. Let's try that one. I 
Okay, so the biggest barrel gave me big waves as I was expecting. So I'm gonna leave these to cool down a bit and then brush them out, I think. This is a really nice kind of Hollywood wavy look when I comb this out. Okay, so I'm using this weird kind of pointy one now. I find it kind of hard to use this one because the hair keeps sliding up. Oh, maybe I need to practice with this one a little bit more. Yeah, I find it hard to use this one, but um, you can kind of see, you know, you get the idea. The way the curl is bigger at the top and then becomes smaller as you go down. Oh, this makes pretty serious curls, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> Frizz alert! Yeah, tiny curls, but it looks pretty natural. I have to say this bigger one is easier to use. Although it's still a weird shape to work with. Pretty nice. Here you can see much clearer that it's kind of bigger on the top and gets smaller when you go down. So yeah, I really like this one. It looks very natural. I like it. So this one is a little bit weird. I hope I'm using it correctly. I have no idea. <laughs> My results are a little bit strange as well, so maybe I'm gonna have to look up a tutorial on how to use a wand like this. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be my favorite, but I'm gonna have to find out how to use that one because I'm pretty sure I'm doing it wrong. Okay, so my hair is looking all kinds of crazy right now. I have seven different types of curls in my hair, but um, yeah, in general, I have to say I am really pleased with this curling iron. It does really heat up quickly and um, it works really, really well. My hair looks nice and shiny and I love that it comes with a little protective glove. So I will have a link to where you can buy this in the description box along with a little discount code for you. But I think that's all that I have for this video. I can't stop looking at my hair. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I gotta stop here guys. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in another video. Bye!